Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna this interesting tech world from Berkeley Math to Tournament using King's property and Quinn's property, so stay tuned. Okay, so going back to our integral, I'll be calling this as i first. And then rewriting this as now integral from zero to pi over two. And then x times, we have one over tangent x, that is cotangent x. So we have dx. Using integrals by parts, this is the same as now then x times ln of, it is basically absolute value of the sine of x, but we are working on from zero to pi over two. So we do not need this absolute value sign. So it is just sine of x, that from zero to pi over two, minus integral from zero to pi over two of ln of sine, x and dx. So we can easily check this term is just equal to zero. So we can only work on this integral. Then I'll be calling this as i star. So once again, i star is equal to integral from zero to pi over two of ln of sine x and dx. Okay, so let's use King's property. So this is the same as then integral from zero to pi over two of ln of sine of now pi over two minus x. And then we have dx. Since sine of pi over two minus x, this is equal to cosine of dx. So this is the same as integral from zero to pi over two of ln of cosine x. And then we have dx. Okay, so let me add these two integrals. That has to be now then the two times i star. This is now integral from zero to pi over two of ln of sine x dx. That plus this integral. Integral from zero to pi over two of ln of cosine x. And then we have dx. Okay, then we can easily combine these two integrals, right? So this is the same as integral from zero to pi over two of now ln of sine of x times cosine of x. Then we have dx. Then we have a little trick. We can rewrite the sine of x times cosine of x as two times sine of x cosine of x over two so that we can use double angle formula for the sine. So our integral, still we are working on two times i star. That we can rewrite this as integral from zero to pi over two of now ln of two times sine of x cosine of x, that over now two. Then we have the x. So that your numerator is sine of two x using double angle formula. Then we can separate this integral into two integrals. So it is the same as integral from zero to pi over now two. That of ln of sine two x dx minus integral from zero to pi over two of ln of just a two. And then we have dx. And then I'll be calling this integral, the first one, as now i double star. Okay, now let's talk about this i double star that is integral from zero to pi over two of ln of sine two x dx. I'll be using u substitution, calling your u as now two x, so that your du is now two dx. So using this is i double star. Okay, this is going to be the same as pulling this one over two out. So one over two times integral from zero to pi of ln of sine u, and then we have du. So this is just the same as then one over two times integral from zero to now two times pi over to the same one of ln of sine u, and then we have du. So that we can use Quinn's property, right? Okay, then using Quinn's property, we can use Quinn's property since sine of pi minus, now u. This is equal to sine of just a u. So that ln of 
sine of pi minus u. This is the same as just the ln of sine of u. So that is why this i double star. So i double star, this is equal to 1 over 2 times, now 2, times integral from 0 to pi over 2. That of now ln of sine u, and then du. This is eventually the same as, if you cancel this out, it's just the same as integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln of sine u du. Okay, then using this, let's go back to 2 times i star. So 2 times i now star. This is equal to um, integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln of sine u, and then du. That minus integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln 2, and then we have dx. And then this integral, this was just i star. So subtracting i star from both sides, right? Then we have just the i star. That is the same as negative integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln 2 dx. Okay, using this, let's go back to the i. So your integral i was the same as x times ln of sine of x from 0 to pi over 2, which the whole thing is equal to 0. And then that minus integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln of sine of x, and then we have dx. Okay, then the second integral, this was just i star. So that is why this i that we're looking for, the whole thing, this was just equal to zero, right? So zero, and then we have minus minus plus, plus integral from zero to pi over two of ln two and dx. So that is why the answer for this question has to be, okay, integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln 2 dx. This is the same as simply pi over 2 times ln of 2. So this is the answer for the question. Okay, so pretty interesting integral using King's property and Quinn's property. How exciting.